Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Wednesday, December 14th, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. The sun decided to get a little active, five M flares in the last 24 hours. We'll get to that. But the big story, extreme weather hazards continue to impact millions nationwide. Keep calm. It's boom time. A winter storm in the north is bringing winter weather alerts to half a dozen states. We're talking about blizzard warnings. Yes, and to the south, severe storm threat includes the threat for hail, winds, and tornadoes. Particularly dangerous situation un uh, unraveling right now in the south as deadly severe weather outbreak continues. And many people are covering it like Reed Timmer. Tornadoes, flooding, damaging wind, and hail possible for New Orleans and many other regions as we have the severe weather tornado forecast up on the Twitter at Oppenheimer Ranch Project, at Diamond the Dave, so check that out. Here we can see that pretty severe threat here, approaching 45%. So heads up, Mississippi, you're in the action today, as well as New Orleans. So take heed if there's a tornado warning, get to safety. At least five tornadoes have been confirmed in Texas. As storms roll through the southwest U.S. and blizzard conditions mount in the northern plains, and these have been deadly. Seven injured in Texas tornado storms. Blizzard warnings issued in six states and at least two fatalities. So there is some footage here of the damage. Let's take a look at some of those houses completely obliterated there. And here we can see another structure quite damaged so our prayers go out to those now these strong to severe storms are going to continue to move east and they will be affecting central florida on thursday so heads up be prepared not scared let's take a look at the snowfall totals they are massive over the last 48 hours almost two feet of snow across across a wide swath of nebraska and south dakota and the snow is continuing to mount Almost three feet of snow in the northern mountains of Colorado, so good for the ski resorts. As more snow is going to continue to pile up, the west side snow tell current snow water equivalent looking great for all the western states except for New Mexico and small portions of Arizona. But overall, the pattern is looking quite impressive for snowpack for this time of the year. Widespread winter storm continues and advances eastward. You can see those blizzard warnings in red in South Dakota, Wyoming, and Nebraska. So take heed and hunker down if you don't have to go out. Widespread winter weather impacts continue for many areas of the plains, upper Midwest, and Great Lakes today. Moisture will advance eastward and provide high-impact winter weather conditions for portions of the Appalachians and interior New England tonight into Thursday. Meanwhile, severe thunderstorms and flooding continue across the Gulf Coast and portions of the southeast into tonight, and these threats will move east into Florida and Georgia, so heads up. It's coming your way. Here is that storm bombing out, and it's going to linger in the region for several days. Here we are Thursday, still there. Friday, still producing snow, North South Dakota, Minnesota. Say it ain't soda, but this baby's going to linger for three days as the main front breaks off here, another low forms, and a nor'easter brings this beaster up into the northeast. Take a look at that. Snow, slow mover over the weekend. It won't be out until Monday morning. And take a look at the temperature anomaly coming, coming just two days before Christmas. Absolutely off the charts. The pink is off the chart, literally. Minus 33 degrees lower than normal for the entire West Coast. And we could be looking at that iguana apocalypse. Here we are Saturday, Sunday, Monday the 19th. You can see that cold starting to develop December 21st. Dangerous cold in uh, British Columbia. And it will be dipping down into the United States there. Take a look at Montana. Minus 24, minus 25, minus 22, minus 30. Holy macaroni. Is that even a word? And that plume is going to push down into the southeast Christmas Eve. Look at that. Into Christmas Day. Hey, hey. Now, the good news is that this freeze line isn't going as far down as it was yesterday. But 47 for Miami. On Christmas Day, well, we'll be quite Christmassy now, won't it?
Seismic update. We had a 6.3 in the Rat Islands, the biggest boomer of the day just kicking off. There is no tsunami warning. Good news. The Rat Islands are an uninhabited group of the Aleutian Islands, southwest of Alaska. They extend 110 miles southeast of the Near Islands and west of Andreoff Islands. The largest of the islands are the Amchitka and Kiska and Semisapoichnoi. And these are volcanic. There's Semisapoichnoi and the Great Siskin is nearby. So this could be a precursor for maybe some volcanic activity out in that region. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Not much going on worldwide. Normal activity from Novados de Ruiz Fuego, San Sangue, Sabancaya, Reventador, Cotopaxi to 20,000, Semaru, 14,000, Popo, 21,000. Here we have Vulcanian activity continuing at Popo yesterday, and Villa Rica volcano, volcanic seismic unrest is ongoing. But nothing spectacular to report on, which is good news. Now the sun, on the other hand, a flurry of M flares kicking off. One, two, three, four, five M flares in the last 16 hours or so. Solar activity quickly sprung to life with three M-class solar fl flares earlier today and then multiple C flares. The largest of the event was M24 in the initial flurry, and then we had some big boomers. AR3165 then produced an M6.3 solar flare at 1442 UTC. So we've got two regions, 3165 and 3163, producing flares. Uh-oh. As the sunspots move Let's see the current where they're located now. They move uh, away and towards the limb, so, uh-oh. We've had some connectivity issues, folks. So here we can see the position of 3165. It is a little further here um, to the east, and it is moving out of sight, which means that any activity here you can see is blowing away mostly from the earth. These were the earlier M flares, not the M6.3. That is not up on telemetry yet, so that is all I could grab. Tomorrow we will show you the... Full five pack of M flares from Lasco C2 and C3. So go check that out. You can always make your own videos over at the Soho Movie Maker. Let's just see if we can pull that up. So that will be linked below the Soho Movie Theater. You just pick what image you want C2, C3, or the elites, or whatever you want. Let's pick Lasco C3. The resolution, you can go 512 or big. Let's just go low res, and then you pick the dates from the 13th to the 14th. We just want to look at the 14th. So I pick 14th and 14th, and you hit generate. Then it's going to load all the current images, and then you have a video. Just hit play. And so we're going to be looking at that CME activity down here in the southeast quadrant. Boom, boom. And we do not see halo effects, so this isn't d directly coming at us. It's definitely pushing away from us. So, good news. Now, the Geminid meteor showers did not disappoint. The 2022 Geminids wild sky watchers with bright fireballs. Take a look at one right there. I also even have a video of one up on the tweeter. This one splits in two. Look at that. Or it came in as a double. It's a double whammy, shmammy. Boom, boom. Pretty nice. Wow, that would be a cool one to watch. So definitely some activity happening. As another meteor caught on camera here at the FreeportMainWebcam.com. .com. Now Mars rover captures the first sound of a dust devil on the red planet. It was definitely luck that the dust devil appeared when it did. It was right in front of the rover, according to the study lead author, who estimates there is just a 1 in 200 chance of capturing the audio. And in fact, they did. Let's take a listen. You are now inside the Dust Devil. And we'll just run that through again for you. This is the sound of a Martian Dust Devil and some of the process images that they use to recreate it. Certainly sounds a little windy on Mars now, doesn't it? Now, Jack Dorsey apologizes for his Twitter moderation choices, saying he did the wrong thing for the Internet and for society. Thanks, Jack.
And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. All the links to everything we discuss will be below the video. You can support our channel by becoming a Patreon, supporting the work we do. We love you. Oh yeah, be a hero. Share the video. And that's a boom.